Okay, so 400 IQ dumbass here and apparently a lot of you guys got very angry at me because of the terrible mistake I made on my last video. Now, for you guys who haven't watched my last video yet, you're smoking some trees, man. Well, essentially what happened is that we watched a family that thought it would be an amazing idea to catfish her own daughter just to teach her a lesson. And basically my mistake is that I confused the first daughter's age with the second daughter. <laughs> People got triggered. So I just wanted to apologize really quick for my stupidity. I mean, I thought she was seven. I didn't know she was 12. Don't arrest me! <laughs> Holy crap, it sounds so wrong without any context. But of course, despite the hate comments, that's not to say I don't receive supportive and good comments daily, I mean. Just... just look at this one. Hey, Feeder, just wanted to thank you and say that your videos helped me get through my depression. And that after watching this video, I finally decided to... What? But anyway, <laughs> let's talk about Tic Tac. Everyone's talking about it. Everyone's making videos about it. I mean, just look at all these cringe compilations. They're endless. I'm not even gonna lie. I was even gonna make a TikTok cringe video, but let's be honest. When the first thing I see when I search for TikTok cringe on YouTube is this. Like, what the hell is that? Yo, that's not a chin. That's a ball sack. I mean, you know when people say, this guy needs a chin implant. Well, this girl, this girl needs a leafy implant. What I'm trying to say is that when I see videos with thumbnails like that, I'm not clicking those videos. So I thought we'd do something a little bit different than just reacting to cringe TikTok videos and we'd watch what TikTok trends are popular among girls. That's right, lads. Starting today, I'm officially a makeup, gaming, vlogging, booby streamer, girl channel. So the first TikTok girl challenge we're gonna be looking at is the shoe challenge. <laughs> the hell is that? Yo, yo, yo. Can someone tell this girl to stop kicking my face? Don't get me wrong, I understand that some people have some foot fetishes on the internet, but you're gonna tell me that 3 million people watch this 10 minutes video of girls kicking their face? I'll kick your face for 3 million views? You kidding me? Scratch that! I'll kick your face for free! Girls turning into boys... Okay, I like this challenge so far, I mean... As long as I'm not getting kicked in the face... Yo! What? I thought this challenge was girls turning into boys, not traps turning into boys. Now don't get me wrong, I'm a very PC friendly SJW channel, so don't think I'm assuming genders, but let's just say I've been to Bangkok before, so let's just say I know how to distinguish between a girl and someone you date and hit the bedsheets with until you find out she has a banana in her pants. And that, my friends, that's a banana. <laughs> That's it? Oh, I, I'm gonna be honest, but as a proud girl channel myself, I'm very offended by this. I mean, her putting a hood on and assuming that she's a guy. She's basically saying that anyone with short hair is instantaneously a guy, and as a proud girl with short hair myself, I'm not gonna let her discriminate against us. I mean, I know plenty of beautiful girls with short hair and plenty of beautiful men with long hair. Put a little bit more effort, you know, maybe some makeup, but just putting your hood on, not gonna cut it. Holy crap! Now that's actually crazy, what? I'm not even gonna lie, I thought it was a guy at the beginning. Now that, that's what I meant when I said effort. I didn't even know you could do this with makeup. Like, no wonder some girls look like completely different people without makeup, I mean, one day you decide to have a one night stand with someone that looks like Kylie Jenner, and then when you wake up you see freaking Donkey from Shrek sleeping next to you and you're like, yo, I don't know about you, but I'd be panicking, sprinting on my laptop and checking if bestiality is legal, because there's no way I'm going to jail because of a freaking donkey. Okay, really quick, but can someone tell me what she's doing with her tongue? Th there she goes again! Like, what is she doing? Licking air? Okay, she curled her hair. You can tell she put some effort. She's sticking out her tongue again. Yo, someone tell this girl to stop licking oxygen! Okay, straight off the bat, what happened to her eyebrows? You see her eyebrows here and then... Ah! They disappeared. Most likely what happened is that this girl's cheating, I mean, she probably switched place with her brother or someone else to play the role of the boy, but that still doesn't explain what happened to the eyebrows. Like what happened? Did her eyebrows do a teleportation jutsu and disappear? Like we need to hire a private investigator like freaking Sherlock Holmes to find her missing eyebrows. No, but joking aside, I'm really worried for him. We need to make a GoFundMe for his eyebrows. Hey, 
One like is one dollar for a GoFundMe. Can we get ten dollars? There we go again with the low effort putting a hood on, like, you might think I'm nitpicking, but I'm just trying to help these girls out. I mean, look at her top of her head. Her hair be looking like a dead raccoon's tail. Okay, I'm so uncomfortable right now. Why is this guy looking at me like that? There's something off with that stare. Just imagine walking down the street and you see this guy staring at you like that. Might as well go on the road and get run over by a car, cause... This guy's kidnapping you for sure! <laughs> you just have to love when someone doesn't know how to record properly, I mean... What does she expect us to do? Actually tilt her head like this? Like, no one's actually gonna do this unless you're a dumbass. And I'm saying that as I'm doing it. <laughs> oh hey, it's this guy again. And somehow, he still manages to have that creepy ass stare. That catch a predator looking ass stare. Um. And it really doesn't help that he's doing that with his lips. Oh, damn! With short hair, this girl looks like a K-pop artist. You know what? After watching some of these clips, I have to say that this challenge... It's pretty cool, I mean... If you disregard the missing eyebrows and the freaking trap... This challenge... It's entertaining. I think I've had enough traps for today, um, just when I started to like this challenge, they give me this? Ironic trolling. I keep seeing these videos on my recommended feed, I don't know if it's really a challenge on TikTok that's going on right now, but just looking into thumbnails, they're pretty funny, so let's give it a shot. Now that, that's just straight up bullying, like there's nothing funny about bullying, it's a very serious issue. And I'm not gonna stay silent while this girl who, sure, she she might have an eggly shaped head, but that's not an excuse to put an egg next to her with a baby on the egg. I'm a living, breathing teenage girl about to tell you that all women belong in the kitchen. You all the TikTok boys with Epic Gamer and their username, I have succumbed to the societal pressures of the patriarchy. What the hell am I doing? You f first things first, give this girl a tampon! If she's gonna be that close to her mic, at this point, just swallow the damn thing. And secondly, I'm very impressed by her, I mean, it really blows my mind how a girl can both sound like an SJW and say that girls should stay in the kitchen. Three. What is that? Find me a boyfriend. <laughs> this meme will always be funny. But obviously the best thing you can do when a girl tells you she's single is jump on her head with your bot, I mean, the hairier your ass crack, the higher your chances are. I'm getting real tired of the comments saying people want me to be their mom. Now I can definitely relate to this one, I mean, I don't know when it happened, but my comment section back then used to be very pristy clean, you know, it used to be non-cancerous, but for some reason recently, people have been calling me dad, dad, dad on my comment section and I ain't your dad! So you know who you are, but stop calling me dad, please. Just, just stop. I swear, they call me mom. Oh, <laughs> It's funny how this applies in real life. I mean, you can see a pretty girl outside, and the moment you see a little baby or a freaking kid next to her, for 99% of the guys, the moment they see a kid, it's the peace meme. You assume that it's her kid, even though it could be like her brother, or she could just be a babysitter, but... Hey. Better safe than sorry. Hey girl, you like me a little bit? No, I don't even like you a little bit. Come on girl, you like me a little bit. <laughs> Not even a little bit. You <laughs> nah. Someone called the FBI on these people, what? It's true that collabing is a great opportunity to, you know, gain exposure, but just imagine you trying to make it big on TikTok, thinking it's a good idea to collab with a four-year-old and singing a song like that. Don't you like me a little bit? So, um, if you made it to the end of the video and you enjoyed it, remember to smash like, and if you want some free memes, I mean, just look at this meme. Eight-year-olds trying to go five minutes in public without doing a Fortnite dance. Then remember to follow at Darth Vader 27. But Vader, you probably stole the meme from somewhere. Shut up, I'll eat your cat. You may think it's cute and it's funny right now, but it's not going to be cute and funny when you find out a user from TikTok died.